Hey there, my name is Jessica and today is part three, the third and final part to my Amazon fall and winter haul. This was a huge haul, you guys. I will link part one and part two in the description box below. Comment down below what your favorite piece was. I love to hear the feedback from you guys. Please, please, please subscribe. It really supports me and makes me so happy. I appreciate every single one of you who already have subscribed. And make sure to tick that notification bell. That way, every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified and you won't miss anything. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the first item is this oversized gray cardigan this is so nice i was shocked by the quality of it whenever i got it in the mail i love how thick it is and it's very warm and it's also not scratchy at all i am super sensitive to fabrics and it's very rare honestly for me to find a lot of sweaters that i love that don't irritate my skin and i was so happy with this haul because almost every single thing was just very soft i styled this two ways the first way is with this black ruched waist bodycon any little black dress would do and this particular outfit i did decide to wear black heels i love the way that this outfit turned out i think it's very classy pretty dressy and it's also really good for around the holidays any kind of holiday parties the sweater does come in multiple colors so you could choose a different color based on the event but it's a really good buy and the second way i styled it is with this black crop cami and a pair of black jeans and some black booties i love this silver pewtery gray color because it really dresses up an all black outfit that's why i just totally gravitated towards black whenever i was trying to style this cardigan but this crop top i actually got for five dollars from shein and a lot of people say sheen i always say shein because it's short for she inside and so i just pronounce it she in but i got it from there it is really good quality honestly and it is double lined which is great because i also have it in white one of my favorite purchases from Shein is this crop top and it's so versatile so I wanted to find a way to wear it in the fall and winter and pairing it with a cardigan like this that's very very warm is a great way to style your spring and summer crops. The jeans are from Abercrombie. I wear literally nothing but Abercrombie jeans. They all fit so well. The second piece that I styled is this green corduroy button down shirt. I love 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 that corduroy is like in this season corduroy and velvet they're pretty big this season it's not a thick corduroy which i kind of like so it looks like you're still dressing for the season but without dying of heat first way i styled it is with a pair of lululemon align leggings because those are my go-to leggings they are the most comfortable things in the whole world and i've tried everything to avoid spending the lululemon prices but eventually i just gave in and i do have a lululemon haul i'll link it i'm also wearing the lululemon align tank underneath this shirt and i styled it with a brown hat which is also from amazon and these mules that are kel parker i really like to wear like casual outfits but dress it up with accessories and this is a perfect example wearing lululemon align like workout gear but then wearing a corduroy shirt over it nice mules and a hat like i would totally go shopping in it and not feel like i was just at the gym so i love the way this outfit turned out the second way that i styled this jacket is with a white crop top this is the same one as that black one from shein but my white version and i styled it with my really comfy black abercrombie distressed jeans and then these nude booties with a gold chain on them they're also from cal parker in my opinion without the hat i think this look is a little bit more casual well, i could say you could easily dress it up more with a bodysuit underneath the shirt or something that just looks a little bit more dressy than a crop top but this is the second way that I styled that shirt the third item is this cream colored crop sweater I love sweaters like this that have a twist front because I think that they're so dressy this one specifically has open shoulder it's a cold shoulder sweater which I think is really cute the first way I styled it is with these really tight dark jeans I think there is something so classic about a nice pair of dark skinny skinny jeans all the way down to your ankles i know that the bigger jeans are definitely in style and they're definitely more comfortable and you could totally wear this sweater with bigger jeans but for this particular look i was looking for something that was very classic so that's why i styled it with the dark skinny jeans and i love these nude booties i really like to balance out when you have a light on top 
I also like to wear a lighter color on the bottom to kind of balance out the whole outfit, but this would also look really cute with a pair of black booties if you wanted to keep that dark look on the bottom half and really elongate your legs. And the second way I styled this, this is definitely more of a cocktail and dinner outfit. I think this is so cute. I love, love, love wearing my heels with jeans and I paired it with a really cute crossbody purse. And the last item of the entire haul, the last item of the three-part haul, this is my absolute favorite piece of all three of these videos. This is the beige sweater dress, which I'm not kidding you, is the softest thing ever. It's got to be like one of my new favorite things in my entire closet. I will say I do have a longer torso. I wouldn't say it's super long, but it is longer to where a lot of sweater dresses are like sweater blouses on me. And this sweater dress was such a great surprise. I got a size extra small and I think it's the perfect length. So soft, so, so warm. Like never I was doing these try-ons with the sweater dress, I was hot. So I styled it two ways, even though it's pretty infinite, the amount of ways that you could wear the sweater dress. The first way, I belted it with a pair of black over the knee boots. As you can see, the length is just perfect to be belted and to have a pair over the knee boots on. I don't like the look of a sweater dress that comes over the top of over the knee boots and I love belting sweater dresses. Belting is really coming back in too. I know for a while belting your waist was kind of out but now it's definitely in and I love that because it really helps sweater dresses look more feminine when they otherwise could swallow you or take away all of your shape. The second way I styled it is really cute. I would definitely wear this to cocktails if I added a belt to it. I just wanted to wear it unbelted so you could see that even if I don't have it belted on, it still isn't so big. It doesn't look like a potato sack. I paired it here with a hat, a crossbody bag, and my heels. If it's a colder evening, I would also pair this outfit with a pair of printed stockings. I think that would be really cute. Printed tights are definitely the way to go with this outfit as well. So that wraps it up. That was the end of part three of my three-part Amazon fall and winter haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Please let me know what your favorite piece was down below and don't forget to subscribe because it really supports me and helps me out. I love seeing what you guys like so definitely keep the communication open with me in comments or on my Instagram. Feel free to send me a DM. I'm always there available to chat. So hope that you enjoyed and I will see you next week.